Hiya, welcome to GGKCS, the multi-generational podcast slash floss tube for fans of all things knitting, cross-stitch, and geeky. I'm Cece, and I'm so glad you're here today. Can you see? Oh, she's going to lay down. Pink pearl. Oh, there, there were her ears. Pink pearls curling up next to me. Um, I'd like to say a, a big welcome back to all returning viewers. Love y'all. And a big hi to any new viewers. Thanks for giving us a shot. Hope you enjoy the show. Today is Friday, the 5th of March, 2021, and this is episode 434. Um, if you're new here, if you're not new here, this is not going to be a normal episode. Um, I am going to share a little bit of crafting stuff with you, but first I wanted to just talk to you. So if you're new here, um, my 21-year-old kid, Dami, who is a in, in university here in Seattle, Washington, um, is on the uh, episodes with me every other episode. So next week, Dami will be uh, here with me. Um, and as you may know, we took um, a, almost, I think almost a month off from doing the podcast because we had some life things happening. And um, I just wanted to talk to you briefly about those. Um, if you follow us on social media or, or are in our Facebook, um, group. Um, you probably have already seen this, but, um, Dami and I have always been extremely open about our lives with y'all, um, here on the, on the podcast, Floss Tube. Um, we've been doing this in August. It'll have been, it will be nine years that we've been doing the show and we have shared a lot of our lives with y'all. Um, the good and the bad, the, great and the tough. And, um, um, so this was something that we, we wanted to share with y'all, but we were waiting for the right timing and everything, <clears throat> excuse me. And we needed to take some time off to deal with what was going on, um, before we came back, uh, with y'all. So, um, if you haven't seen what I'm referencing, um, Russ and I have separated, um, He's continuing to live um, for the time being uh, in Bermerton, where we were living, and I have moved into a new place uh, um, here in Seattle, Washington proper. <clears throat> I'll give you a tour at some point, but we're not it's not completely set up. In fact, I am currently sitting on my bed <laughs> recording this um, because I'm waiting for my couch to be delivered. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. Um, so we're still trying to get things organized and such. Um, so once we get everything finally, uh, organized and everything, I'll give you a tour, maybe on social media or something. So, um, but yeah, that's why you're seeing this. Uh, Dami gave me this as a housewarming gift. It is a, um, a cheetah unicorn. Um, I can't remember what these are called. Squishmallows. And, uh, I've been using, it to lean against when I'm sitting in bed with my feet up crafting and whatever. Um, so yeah, so right now I'm sitting on my bed, uh, recording this, uh, because I'm still waiting for my couch to get here. Uh, fingers crossed tomorrow. We've had some delivery issues. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm here in, um, in Seattle now. Um, I started a full-time job. Uh, after many years of not doing that, um, working, um, working, uh, for children's hospital in their endocrinology specialty clinic, uh, in the kind of back office, um, th doing things back there. Um, and while it's honestly not anybody's business, why Russ and I separated, um, the one piece that I do want to share is that, um, I have publicly come out. I am, I'm a lesbian and that's, uh, that's me. Um, that's who God made me to be. Um, I fought it for a very long time. Um, but I'm, I got to a place where I finally made the very difficult decision that I needed to be true to who God made me to be. So, um, I know there are those who won't agree with this theologically based on your religious beliefs. And, um, I'm not at a place really that I want to discuss that. 
um, with you. Um, so whether you are going to stay and keep following us and keep watching the podcast and keep interacting with us on social media and, and the like, and participating in podcast stuff, um, we are just asking that you please be kind, um, that you please be respectful. Um, if you don't feel like you can be that way because you don't agree, then we just ask you to please unfollow us, stop watching what, whatever needs to happen. Um, you know, we're not, I, I still have people in my life that don't agree, um, with, with what, what, um, what has happened. Um, and we're trying to work out what new relation, this, this new part of the relationship looks like. Um, I know I have lost some friends, uh, and family, um, uh, over this, and that's really hard. Um, I'm so grateful for, um, Dammy, who has been a rock and has been a huge support to me. Um, and some very special, um, friends who have been really very supportive and, um, really walked with me through this journey. Um, but I know I have lost friends and family members as well, and that's really hard. And so, um, I'm just saying all that to say that, um, we just ask that you be respectful and kind. And if you don't feel like you can be, then we ask you to please just move on. So, um, yeah, so that's, um, that's where I'm at now. Um, I, I wanted to, um, I just wanted to be able to share that with y'all and share where, I've, where Dami and I have been and such. Um, Dami's not living with me. I know I've had some people ask that. Dami is actually living, continuing to live in a apartment on, um, their university campus, um, with, three other theater students. And so that's where they live, but they, they do, Dammy does come over quite often. In fact, Dammy was just here earlier because we had to take uh, Pink Pearl, um, our cat to, um, to a vet appointment. Uh, just had to get a new vet, uh, because of the move, because, um, as some of y'all know, uh, Pink Pearl has feline epilepsy. And so we just needed to, to get her, um, established with a new vet and make sure we could get her, continue to get her medication and such. So Dammy was over here actually earlier and went with me to the vet and, um, and such. And, um, they plan to be over here tomorrow to help me set up the couch, but they had a, um, a school exam in, um, their class this afternoon. So they headed back, uh, to their apartment to study, finish studying and get ready for that exam. So, um, yeah. So with, with this new, um, this new part of my life, I mean, I feel like, like as I was thinking about this morning, um, um, what I was going to, uh, record and say to y'all, um, <laughs> I know it's silly, but the, uh, the Michael Buble, which I know there's been other singers that have recorded it as well, but, um, Michael Buble's, um, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life and I'm feeling good and I am feeling good even though it's hard, I'm feeling good. And, um, yeah. So things with the podcast are going to change a little bit. Um, so with my new job, I'm working four 10 hour day shifts. And so I do have three days off every week. Right now I'm still in training. So right now I have Fridays off, but that's probably going to change. And so we're going to have to adjust things and just kind of go with things as they happen. Uh, for right now, our plan <laughs> until my schedule changes is going to be to record on Fridays and it go live on Saturdays. Um, for right now, I'm not going to do any stitch with me videos. Um, I feel like I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to adjust to work, <laughs> working a 40 hour job, a week job, uh, again. Um, which I haven't done in a very long time since, since, um, I was hospital chaplain and got sick and was in a wheelchair. Um, 
so um, I'm, I'm adjusting to, to a new life. Um, it's cutting into my crafting time. <laughs> so I'm not getting as much crafting done as I was when I uh, was, was staying at home. Um, but I am still trying to get in at least a little bit every day. And then um, right now with me having Fridays off, my Friday, Saturday, Sundays, I'm, I'm um, getting some more crafting time in. And that's, that's lovely. And um, I decided... Uh, with cross stitch to take a step back from the whip go challenge thing um, just because I'm not I, I just don't have as much time to craft and so um, I'm just gonna craft what's my, what makes me happy uh, I am continuing to knit my preemie hats every week um, but then I'm just gonna craft what makes me happy and um, there are lots and lots of things I would love to do um, but I will fit them in as best as I can with the time that I have um, Um, as I said, this is not going to be a regular full-length episode. I will have some announcements for you at the end to remind you of a few things. But I did want to show you what I've been working on um, the these last almost month. Um, and I finished a few things, so I just wanted to kind of show you that. Um, one thing I'm working on in this beautiful kitty project bag from Little Fish Stitches. Um, Y'all will remember, was it in October? I think it was in October when I released two new patterns, um, a sock pattern and a uh, cowl pattern um, called I'll Have Two Coffees and Two Cherry Danishes to Go Please Socks and Cowl. Um, and as Dammy and I were um, packing things up and making some decisions about life ahead and such, we decided at this point we're not going to be doing any more uh, mini shows like where we're selling our stuff. And so we put up a large portion of our shop up of our design samples up for sale in our Etsy shop. And there are still still some there. So um, if you wanted to, if you ever wanted to get your hands on something, Dammy or I, or there are a few things that we both knit on <laughs> um, that we designed and knit. Um, there are some stuff in our Etsy shop, but um, at some point in our design process, um, we, when we, we decided that when we were designing socks, we were only going to knit one sock of the pair. So we were not able to like put those up for sale because we only had one sock and a pair. But with this, um, pair, I still had the remaining yarn, um, from the design in my stash. So I was like, you know what? I could just knit the second sock and then I'll have a pair. So that's what I'm doing. So this is, um, this is the pattern. I'll have two coffees and two cherry danishes to go please socks by me. Um, our patterns are available at javapearldesigns.com. There are links there to our patterns, both on Etsy as well as Payhip. Um, our patterns are no longer available on Ravelry. So um, I'm knitting these on US one and a half, two and a half mil needles, and the yarn is It's All About You Fidalgo Sock in the Cherry Blossoms version 2.0 colorway. So this is the original first sock, and here is the second sock. Um, oh, this uh, stitch marker is from the um, advent box from On Katyan Biag. It's a cat in a space, space suit, and it's on a wooden disc. And this progress keeper is from Tilting Planet. So um, I've discovered that, um, so I don't have a car here, which is fine because there is a really good public transit here in Seattle. Um, so I take the bus to work every morning. And um, I've discovered that on my bus ride, I can do one repeat of, the, it's a four pattern, four row pattern repeat. I could do one repeat of the pattern, um, while I'm on the bus. Um, so I still, I tried to make them matching. I don't know if they are 100% matching, but close. So that's where I'm at right there. I'm on the brown. So it looks like I have finished the brown and then one, two, three, four, and part of the white, most of the white um, to go before I get to the heel. So I'm just working on that, um, on the bus and a little bit in my spare time. Um, and then I'll have another pair of socks to wear. Um, let me tell you what I finished, uh, since we talked last, I finished a bunch of preemie hats. Well, three, 
three, I guess. No, I'm missing one. Hold that thought. Four. I have four preemie hats. Uh, one had gotten tucked to the side of something. Um, so these are my, this is, these hats are all from my free top down preemie hat pattern that you can get on our website, javapearldesigns.com. And I knit them all on US sixes, four mil needles. Um, okay. So I think this is this one. So this was number six for the year because I do one a week. I don't know if you can see the sparkle. I didn't get out my ring light or anything. So this is, um, okay, let's see. Okay, I must have held doubled the Yarn Tree Silver Sparkle Sock in the Dr. Donna colorway with the Knit Pick Stroll hand painted in the Borealis colorway. So that's this purple and blues and teals. And then the pom pom and the hat and part of the um, ribbing and the bind off is marinated yarn scrumptious HT in the sea of glass colorway held doubled. So that's number six. Number seven. Must be this one. Sorry, I'm trying to remember. I'm like, wait, which colorway is which here? Is this right? Because that's that one. Yes, this, that's right. Okay. This is number seven for the year. And this is Knitology Glowing Worsted in the Pachyderm colorway. That's the blue. Uh, with Karen Simply Soft in the Gray Heather colorway. So, there's that one. And then number eight is this one. I really love how this one turned out. Um, this is Vitalana Ambient Worsted in the Dawn Blush colorway. That's the, the orangey pink. Uh, with Karen Simply Soft in the Gray Heather colorway. It's a, that gray Heather colorway is a perfect, I, I uh, pair it up with a lot of things. I don't think I have very much of it left, <laughs> but I've been, cause I've used it so many times, uh, for hats. And then here is number nine. This is the one that I just did last week. Um, this is Bernay Softy Baby in the Princess Pebbles colorway. That's the variegated along with Karen Simply Soft in the gray Heather colorway. So that's four preemie hats since I saw y'all last. But I also finished a pair of socks. And they've been blocked and everything. These are surprise socks for someone. I'm not telling you who because they watch the show. So I'm not going to tell you. Um, this is my French vanilla cappuccino sock pattern that you can get at, again, JavaPearlDesigns.com. This, this show, this episode is brought to you by Java Pearl Design. Um, I did these on US one and a half, two and a half mil needles and the, the main color of the sock is Pandia's Jewels hand dyed yarn snug in the supernatural colorway. And then the cuff and the heel and the toe is suburban stitcher sock in the Hawaii volcanoes national park colorway. So those are finished, blocked everything. So now I can, um, get them packed up and sent to someone to surprise them. So there's that. And then I'm pretty sure cross stitch wise, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I've worked on one thing, one cross stitch pro project since I saw you last and I am behind on it, but I'm working on it. It's in my project bag by, um, Garen Toten bags. This came in the black needle society, the nice list box, the Christmas box, advent box, uh, this last year. And this is the Gilmore girls, sampler um that is a stitch along in um the facebook group the enablers and a clue is being released monday wednesdays fridays um right now i don't know how many more clues we have and like i said i am behind um this uh the fabric is just a 14 i think it's a 14 count ada from i think it's from joanne's maybe um, and I'm using mostly called for DMC flosses, but, um, you know, there's some that I didn't have or whatever. So I've substituted or that didn't work with this color of fabric. So uh, these are not, uh, this is not an order, but I'm just going to tell you, not in like an order of the clues that came out, but I'm just going to tell you what they are. So this is pop tarts with a cherry. The, the girl, the girls, Lorelai and, Gil, uh, and Rory love their junk food. 
This is a line from Miss Kim, boys don't like funny girls. Um, Rory had to decide whether she was going to go to Harvard or Yale. Uh, Oi, with the poodles already. There is a snowflake for ice and snow. Um, this is um, the French flag for Michelle. This is the thousand yellow daisies. I have a face mask with that on it, and I love it. I did modify this one a little bit. I copied somebody else who's doing the sal and did back stitching around the outside and then um, stitching on each of the petals. This is the Chilton logo uh, where Rory went to high school. Uh, this is a motorcycle. It could be for lots of things. Jess rode a motorcycle. Christopher rode a motorcycle. The thing I'm working right on right now, it's 22.8 miles. It's like a little green sign, and it says 22.8 miles on it. Uh, that's how far Yale is from Stars Hollow. This is lipstick, and you, I backstitch, we backstitch on it Vicious Trollop. Um, I believe this is when Rory and Lorelai and Emily went on a trip somewhere. And Lorelai gave Emily lipstick to put on, and it was the color was called Vicious Trollop. So there's that. This is the box of cornstarch that Rory stole from the grocery store um, when she kissed Dean for the first time. Um, I need to go back and look because uh, my friend um, Janine was telling me that she had, because she's stitching this as well, told me that she had seen some people do some back stitching on this that really made it look cool. So I'm going to go back and look and see if I can find what they did and see if I maybe can copy that. We have a pot and a spoon for Suki. We have Kirk. You remember he made these t-shirts trying to sell them and one of them said Babette ate oatmeal. <laughs> um, we have the deer antlers that, and Jeep in the middle for the deer that run in, ran into Lorelai's Jeep when Rory was driving trying to get to school. Uh, we have the Luke's Coffee logo. Um, this uh, is a quote from an episode. So it's a show. It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. We have books because Rory loves her books. I also need to look and see um, because I think some people did some back stitching on this. This is a dragonfly for the Dragonfly Inn. And then this is a uh, bow tie for Richard for Lorelai's dad. And 403 is the time that Rory was born. So there will be other things still that Get filled in so I'm working on that one part right now and then parts that have come out that I have not gotten done yet um, there is an alien for Hep Alien Lane's band band that she was a part of there's Copper Boom which is something that was said in the show um, sorry my pages are sticking together there is a cell phone with like the red circle around it with a line through that uh, like Luke has up in the diner because he doesn't allow cell phones in the diner. Um, there is a banana for Paris who says understanding what a um, uh, what did they call I think it was a banana split party. She was understood. Um, there is Luke's baseball cap and they wrote on it all in because Luke said he was all in. And then, uh, the one that just came out today, hold on, I'm trying to see if I can click on it while I'm recording because I can't remember what it is. Wait, did I miss, wait, I missed one. Hold on. There's an umbrella for the, um, in... Omnium Paratus uh, that um, was part of uh, when Rory was with Logan. And then there is um, the one that just released today has um, bobbins of thread with needles and pens because um, Lorelai does do like some sewing and crafting and such um, on the show um, various times over the course of the show. So um, we'll see how much I can get caught up with on this this weekend while I'm off work. Um, but I want to get caught up on that. Uh, I might, I mean, all the pieces might release before I get totally caught up on that. Um, but I'm going to do the best I can and just try to get that done. And then I want to jump back into my Barbara Anna um, Designs uh, Dreaming Girl, Sal. Um, I'm so far behind on that one. 
and then um, we'll see. Um, Edinburgh Castle obviously is on hold right now until I kind of get into a good rhythm and routine with my job. Um, I'm a night owl, y'all, and it is so hard because I have to be up at 5 a.m., um, and which means lights out at 9 p.m. <laughs> so that's, that makes it tough. But, um, you know, it is what it is and we'll make it work. All right. Um, we're, that we're going to bring this to a close. Um, I, like I said, I do, I'm going to give you a few announcements. Um, we'll be back next week with our regular segments and everything. Um, we have some stuff for yummies to share with you. Um, we had a knit crate, um, shipment come in. Pom Pom Quarterly is on the way. We may not totally talk about Pom Pom Quarterly next week because we have so much to catch up on. So we may wait and review that in the episode two weeks from next week when uh, Dammy's back on. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, hashtag GDK Crafty Pad. Our um, Crafty Photo a Day Challenge is continuing for the month of March. Um, it's colors, so um, check that out. Our read along continues, which is a challenge for you to read 15 minutes a day every day. I don't care what you're reading as long as you're reading. Audiobooks do count. And, um, excuse me, um, we're still in the January, February, March portion, which by participating in the seasonal, you earn entries into the year long challenge. And then at the beginning of 2022, we take all those entries and draw for three grand prize bundles. So that's continuing to be ongoing. Um, the December, January, February winter wonderland owl has come to an end and we will announce the winners, um, of the prizes from that next week. Um, I went ahead and, um, locked the, the, uh, post for commenting in the Facebook group so that we could, uh, draw for winners and everything. And, uh, since that ended the March, April, May sheepy spring owl bah, has started all the details for that are in the Facebook group, and I'll put them in the show notes as well um, at ggkcs.com. Um, the, the FO thread is already there in the Facebook group, so go ahead and start working on your stuff and get it posted as you finish. And we'll announce all the prizes and all the full details next week. We'll be back with Ask the Geeks next week. Um, wanted to continue to remind you about the Black Needle Society. So they made a decision um, to put a cap on the number of boxes, which means they've started a wait list, um, just so that they could be able to um, more accurately work with their suppliers for because it's a, it's a lot of pieces that they put in, in their boxes and a lot of vendors and and such to work with. And so they've just grown really, really fast. Um, which is amazing. I'm thrilled for them. Um, but they had to make the hard decision to put a cap on the number of boxes and then start a wait list. So if you're on that wait list and, um, you get a chance to buy the regular, uh, every other month subscription box, not the special edition boxes, which is something totally separate, but the every other month subscription boxes, you can use the code Java Pearl five, all capital letters for your first box of the box to box subscription, um, at the black needle society.com. If you're not on the wait list yet, you should go get on the wait list because, um, it's amazing. I'm, we were just talking last night, uh, those of us who are reps and VIPs and we were, we were almost, I think everybody was like, Yes, we want lifetime. We want to be signed up <laughs> for, for perpetuity. Um, so, um, so there's that. Um, we want to say a special thank you to the, all of y'all who support the podcast. Every one of you support the podcast just by watching. And that's amazing. And we're grateful for you. But a big thank you, especially, I'm trying to make a heart, but I'm holding my phone that have my details on it because I'm recording on my computer. Um, to those of you who support us financially, um, the money that comes in goes towards primarily shipping of prizes, uh, purchasing of some prizes, technology behind the scenes, all those things. So um, there's a few ways that you can support the podcast financially. Patreon and YouTube join um, are the first ones. Uh, those are ways where you can... Um, I, it's been so long since I've said this. 
uh, that I can't remember how I say it. Um, uh, it's a way to support your favorite creatives um, by you, um, you choose what level to donate at and you earn rewards or perks uh, based on the level that you are at. Um, Patreon rewards for March will go, will be dealt with tomorrow, um, Saturday the 6th. Um, yeah. Thank you for being patient with us as we had to take a little bit of time off. Uh, but you can find out more about Patreon and sign up at patreon.com slash ggkcs. YouTube join. There's a join button at, underneath all of our videos on YouTube. Uh, if you'd like to make a one-time do donation, there's a PayPal button in the sidebar of our website, ggkcs.com. Um, every week in our normal episodes, uh, we create a list on bookshop.org. Um, about all the books that we talk about in that episode and bookshop is an online bookstore with a mission to financially support local independent bookstores by purchasing a book from our shop we earn a commission and local independent bookstores also earn money from your purchase you can find out more at bookshop.org slash shop slash ggkcs and we are amazon.com.co.uk and .ca affiliates if you're going to shop on amazon if you go to our site first click through there on the appropriate uh amazon for your country <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm talking too fast. See, I'm meant to be in Gilmore. <laughs> uh, do your shopping as normal on Amazon, um, and then we'll earn a little money back based on what you purchase. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and it's a great way to support the podcast by doing something you'd be doing anyway. Uh, as I mentioned before, you, our website is at ggkcs.com. There you'll find links to everywhere else we are online, Primarily Instagram and our Facebook group, um, but also, you know, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, all the other places, there's links there. Um, I want to say thank you again um, for your support and um, your love and your understanding and for continuing to be with us through, uh, I guess we're about eight and, a, eight and a half years now of doing this. Um, we're very, very grateful and I know... Uh, I'm excited for Dammy to be back with us next week and uh, to do a regular full-length episode. So, until then, happy crafting. Remember to wear your masks. Take care of yourselves. I've already gotten my first uh, vaccine injection, um, and my second one is scheduled, I think, for two weeks from yesterday. that sounds right? I think so. Uh, because I am uh, working in the healthcare field now. That's why I'm able to go ahead and get my vaccine. So I've had the first one and uh, I've had, I'm very excited to get the second one when it's time. Um, and I'm excited for everybody else to get their vaccines as more and more come available. Um, yeah, but in the meantime, remember to please keep wearing your masks because this pandemic is not over yet. And um, until we see you again, we love y'all and we're grateful for each of you and happy crafting and we'll see you again soon.